welcome back to my channel. Today is the day after the night before. The night before was the night that the House of Lords debated the motion Amendment 97ZA, which would have amended the Police and Crime Bill to rule that transgender prisoners should be imprisoned with people of their similar birth sex rather than what's variously known as target gender, acquired gender. ZA. My original amendment at committee stage was unbalanced. I accept that. I sought to protect female offenders but neglected to account for the small minority of trans women who might face unacceptable risk if housed in male prisons. My new amendment aims to afford appropriate protection to all prisoners, notwithstanding that there can be no guarantee that every prisoner will be entirely protected from risk, even within their own single-sex units. Now, I do wish to thank my noble friend, the Lord Wolfson, for our meetings, for the teaching he organised, and for our ongoing discussions. Now, your Lordships may ask, why have I brought back an amendment? Because this is an important issue in its own right. The needs of women in prison matter, and these needs mandate single-sex provision. Women in prison are acknowledged to be an exceptionally vulnerable group and cannot simply choose to use a different space which remains single sex. Now, these re reasons were discussed in the previous debate and I shall not repeat them. But this is also representative of the wider issue, my lords, that of the ability of legislation to maintain single sex spaces for women. The female estate is a definitive example of a space that should be single sex. If women in prison cannot be guaranteed single-sex spaces, then no woman or girl can. Uh, the amendment was withdrawn because it was clear that there wasn't enough support in the House to ensure that it could be passed. I'm not going to be successful today, but I say to all my noble friends on the front bench, in all departments, that this policy of downgrading the rights of biological sex women is heading for the scrap heap of history. It's not on the side of science, logic, morality, nor common sense. And everyone outside the political bubble we're in knows that. <coughs> the battle for common sense and the rights of women will intensify. And I conclude by suggesting that all my noble friends should read, and all ministers, should read the excellent article in the Times last week by my honourable friend, Jackie Doyle Price, MP. She said in Teralia, quote, sex is biological and immutable, gender is social. The two things are distinct, and by conflating sex with gender, we have created, created an inevitable conflict between rights based on sex and those assumed by someone with a transgender identity. She said, we can be inclusive without compromising the rights, dignity, and privacy of women, unquote. Wise words, my lord. Jackie Doll Price is on the side of common sense and history. So I beg leave to withdraw my amendment, not because I'm wrong, but because I cannot win in the numbers tonight. <laughs> what does this mean? Politics is a long game, said Baroness Nicholson, and she should know. So my assessment of this is that although it is a battle that we've lost, it is by no means a sign that the war is lost. The war continues because it's so obviously wrong to every fair-minded person that we should be imprisoning vulnerable, violated women who are mostly imprisoned for non-payment of fines, who are largely mothers, who have largely found their way into criminal activity through men, through relationships with men, and through violence that they've been subjected to from men. They are a completely different population to male prisoners. And this has been recognised by prison reformers for years. And um, in an interview with um, Julia Hartley Brewer today on talk radio, Dr. Kate Coleman from Keep Prison Single Sex very um, succinctly summed this up. The majority are not there for serious crimes. The majority are not there for violent offences. The majority have, we know, been subjected often to quite lengthy histories of violent attack and sexual attack, very 
in the large main by males, and yet the Ministry of Justice sees fit to deprive them of single sex spaces. Um, and we know from looking at the female offender strategy, going all the way back to the Causton report of 2007, that women in prison, in order to have the best chance of rehabilitation, in order to have the best chance to make meaningful changes to their lives, to tackle all the very complex issues that surround their offending, they require women-only facilities, women-only services, which don't include males. So it just seems extraordinary that in 2022, the focus when it comes to the female prison estate is not on female offenders, and that has to change. So the conversation about um, the campaign to ensure there are no men in women's prison uh, will continue. And I would urge everybody, please do support Keep Prison Single Sex. It's a fantastic organisation. Uh, Dr. Kate Coleman is a fantastic advocate and campaigner and she deserves our support. If you have a moment to write to your MP or to write to some of the Lords that were speaking in favour of women's rights in the House of Lords, I know that that does actually help them to understand that there is such a lot of public opinion in favour of the stance that they've taken bravely. Uh, but in the meantime, let's not be dismayed. Um, every time this subject is brought up, more people around the country look into it and go, what? That's clearly wrong. And uh, that's, that's what we need because most people don't believe that, that it's really happening, that they're really, they really are putting men in women's prisons, men convicted of rape men convicted of murdering women and their children. They're putting them in women's prisons. They're in women's prisons tonight. There are women in prison tonight that can't get away from those violent criminal men. It's an outrage and we're going to put a stop to it. Thanks for watching my video, uh, really appreciate your support. Please do leave a like or a dislike, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you again soon.